When I was young, there wasn't even a radio there for a while. Although we, my dad built a radio in 1920, the only station we could get was in uh, Pittsburgh, KD, uh, KDKA or something. <laughs> in Pittsburgh, yeah. And we only got that occasionally. <laughs> My name is Kenneth Wiley. I was born on April 23rd, 1913. I was born in Ottawa. Actually, it was Cedardale. It's uh, on East Whippy Township. My parents they originally came from England. They went to the United States in Herkimer, New York. Living there for two years after that, uh, they were discontented on there, so they arrived, uh, they came to Oshawa where I had, uh, my uncle was already living here, and they settled down in Oshawa and never left the place. <laughs> when, we, when he lived in uh, Cedardale, that's where the, um, he was running a little bit of a store there and a nice cream uh, pavilion down at the lake. Uh, then he joined the Army in 1916. And my, then my mother, she couldn't stay here, so she went to England too. And so I went along with her. Uh, when I think of it now, uh, England, I had to go to school there. And they had these dong dong bells. And I used to hate them. And when I came to Oshawa, I had the same kind of a school and the same kind of a bell. So I thought it didn't really seem any different. And at that time, Oshawa was, most people were from England anyway. When I was in England, I was five years old. Truant officer came around and said, uh, uh, you should, uh, Kenneth Wiley, where is he? My mother says, that's him down there. And he says, well, he should be in school. She says, well, we're going back to Canada. This is when the war was over by this time. And uh, he says, we're going back to Canada to start them school there. He says, when well, he's in England, he's got to be going to school in England. So I had to go. I hated it. Oh, geez. So I spent three years in England and then came back to Oshawa in uh, 1919 summer of 1919. You're going to school. I Some of my friends quit school when they were 12 years of age. They were supposed to. There was a law that said you had to go to school when you were 16, but nobody ever enforced it. I have a lot of my friends who were 12 years of age and they quit school. I finished high school in uh, 1933, uh, 32. Well, the first year after high school, there was, there was no work. So I went to Trenton. Um, there was, uh, well, there was about, uh, there must have been about a thousand youths down there in between the ages of 19 and 30. And they were just single fellows, and uh, I played. I played ball. That's all I ever did. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty good at that. At least I thought it was. There's, nobody's going to contradict me now because they're all gone. <laughs> of 
course, I always liked anything athletic. I was always interested in that more than anything else. Uh, of course, I had a, my parents or my dad anyway. He was he was more for music. He had me uh, starting to playing the violin. Oh God! <laughs> I did that for about a year. And. Uh, but I didn't like that. I just wanted to get out and play ball. I went in the Army. I was there for three years. Uh, no, I was just in Camp Borden. I never went overseas. My job there was uh, teaching, uh, instructing uh, the maintenance of trucks and how to try. It was. There was an awful lot of people, uh, young fellows that didn't even know how to drive it. And uh, so we were busy there. With, that's what I did for about two years, the first two years. And the last year I was there, I was doing, I was just moving around, wasn't doing anything. General Motors was the big thing in Oshawa. It moved here in 19. 19, 19 or 20, and uh, also just grew with the General Motors. I started there and, uh, when I was 20, and I ended up when I was 60. Worked on assembly plants, uh, and then after the war, I worked in the truck plant the rest of my time. Uh, I was a foreman the last 10 years. But yeah, I enjoyed working with TM. They were good to me. I don't know whether you, anybody knows, but uh, 1928, we had the world champion lacrosse team here in Washington. Um, we played off with uh, Oshawa. Well, Oshawa represented Canada, and then Canada, United States, uh, Great Britain, and uh, Australia, 14, four countries. And we, Oshawa won the whole thing. World champions, well, that's really something, I think. And lacrosse was a big thing. Did you ever play lacrosse? Yeah. I could hit over the head the first darn time. Did you ever play again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played, uh, not, yeah, I played with juvenile, we called it. We had a league here, juvenile lacrosse, at that time. Of course, my fondest memories are the first is my life on work teams. <laughs> The summer holidays, and when you're uh, nine and ten and twelve years old, it's, that was. And uh, those things, we had to make our own games of it. We actually made our own uh, time it up for playing ball. We played. I don't know where we got the button, the balls, and the gloves from. I can't remember that, but. Uh, we, we played in an old orchard where some of the trees were tore down. My wife is gone. And we were married for 64 years. And I was ready to propose to her anyway, but she went away to a, a camp one year and she met another guy. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that kind of confused me anyway. I didn't know what to, whether I was coming or going with her. And I was out with her one night and she says, I don't know why you get so mad. She says, I like you the best. I said, the best? She says, yeah. I says, well, the best? Who is the other guy? <laughs> and she says, what do you mean, the other guy? I says, well, when she says you're using the word best, there had to be three people. <laughs> 
When you use the two, two it's better. The better are the two. <laughs> she got a cat. We had both big, had a big laugh out of that. Anyway, we finally ended up getting married. And we had two daughters, Joan and Jane. Jane, was, Jane just died before I came in here, and also my wife. I have to kill and keep on going on, I guess. I just the old man, he just left. <laughs> Two years ago, July the first. I like it very much. All of she, all of and I fit, sit together when we're eating, and she tells me what to do, what not to do. I don't know. I, I couldn't answer that. I, guess. I don't know. I, did. I wasn't any different than anybody else. I smoked at one time. I had a few beers at one time. Uh, I did not think anybody else I did, but. Uh, I didn't uh, really go on any particular diet or anything like that. And I keep physically fat too, that's another thing. We shouldn't get too many old people get obese and get too heavy. They should, uh, I think at the time, we'll never see anybody that way. It's just like smoking. We everybody used to smoke. Now nobody smokes. I think uh, young people are smarter today. Actually, a lot smarter than they were, especially with all this uh, uh, computers and everything else. Is uh, you're younger, the younger you are, the more you understand the darn thing. <laughs> You never had that. You know, you went to school to learn to read. That's about all. It. Now they, uh, yeah, I think that we're not going backwards. We're going ahead. I think uh, one thing that, if I were growing up now, compared to growing up before, I would have been probably been a ball player. A professional ball player. That's what I always dreamed of, anyway. <laughs> <laughs>